It's time for Rhythm Tracks. Rhythm Tracks. Aqua Frolics, from the people that brought you Asphalt Antics. Here's an aqua frolic that only a seal can enjoy. Uh -huh. And enjoy okay. is the word. Aqua frolic? They're really having fun. Because if there's anything a seal likes besides going fishing, it's a chance to show off. Send for help! Just give them an audience, a chance to perform, and some applause. And no hurdle is too high to stop them. The previous statement was not based on fact or reason. Nobody ever trained a porpoise, but judging by their ability to stand on their tails, they have possibilities. Ladies, on the other hand, are uneducable. Enjoy your swim, girls. They're friendly, too, and don't even resent people who crowd in among them. Proved by Dr. Maynard A. Quackstein's famed dolphin resentment study. Seminal study. It's plain to see why saltwater fishermen hate to see porpoises appear. They can ruin fishing. Good thing they taste so good on their own. Nobody feeds this fellow. In fact, these swimmers are a little afraid they might feed him. Their deaths will serve as a warning to others. Tropical waters spawn big denizens of the deep, such as the giant sea turtle. Shown here next to Tom Cruise. Or the ray, of which some species can inflict a dangerous wound with a sharp spine-like stinger near the base of the tail. We call them rays that are capable of stinging. Here's something even fish can't do. An air-breathing contest. A basketball game underwater. And it's a breathlessly exciting game, especially in a struggle for the ball. Because the player who runs out of breath, runs out of luck. Whereupon they're disposed of in the shark tank. She scored that one. Now the ball is in play again. And while they can't bounce a dribble, they can float one. One what? Baby Ruth bar? Ouch. There's another basket. Her side wins. Well, it beats the WNBA. Anything can happen in Wakulla Springs, Florida, <laughs> where the water is so clear the movie cameraman is forever thinking up new stunts. <laughs> this time, it's a turkey dinner on the bottom of the lake. It's called Drown's Giving. But you haven't seen anything yet. Hey, that's demeaning to all the previous aqua frolics. This time, the cameraman asks you to believe too much. A sort of pipe dream. Smoke underwater. But after an underwater banquet, it's time for a little fresh air. Not you, Mom. Someone's got to do the dishes. More aqua frolics. And the more the merrier with a fast motorboat. But it's well to know how to swim. In case you see any leftovers down there. It's well. Water skis offer a fine means of frolic for the expert, with real speed essential to keep those skimmers on top of the water. I say, this is a fine means of frolic, and our wives are none the wiser. <laughs> Imagine doing this, oh even on snow skis. She's towing him to a real test, for here's a stunt few experts have ever accomplished, and this particular expert is no exception. Ah, Fonzie could have pulled it off. But one man's defeat is another man's victory. Watch him. Uh, we just did. Just to prove it wasn't an accident, he makes it look just like another aqua frolic. He's right, that was indistinguishable from the underwater turkey dinner. The cameraman gets an unusual shot, and here's the result. Damn paparazzi! Whoa! Just to show what a breaking wave can do to a small boat, over it goes. Flowers can be sent to his widow and two children. But here's a boat that can take it if they can just get past the breakers. This time they fail to make it, and the big surf boat is turned around and driven back to the beach again. Looks like they're stuck on Cuba. Enjoy the cigars, boys. Another try. Watch it leap half out of the water. Like a breaching John Goodman. They are winning this time, and now in great they water are safe. That's the trick. Just get through the breakers, and there's nothing to it. We forgot the beer! Abandoned ship! The frolics in the Rapid River in Maine attract the daredevils. It's a thrilling test of skill in fast water, and it's a master of the sport who gets through some of the rapids without disaster. Most are viciously attacked by bears. That fellow's in trouble. He's wanted by the police for a double homicide. There he goes. And the face-sucking leeches latch on instantly. It's wicked water in this part of the river, and few have ever gone through it right side up. 
The river always seems to win this game. Ah, but the river sucks at Monopoly, so it all evens out. Yeah, his no questions asked will trade Park Place for Baltic Avenue policy needs rethinking. Stupid river. From Maine to Florida, somebody is certain to be looking for a new thrill afloat. And the battle of the toboggans behind a speeding motorboat is a novel variation of aquaplaning. Which is itself a subset of aquafrolics. The idea is to upset the other crowd. They almost succeed. By hurling insults and taunting their ethnic background. <laughs> there they go, and that's what's known as the battle of the toboggan. In case you weren't paying attention 15 seconds ago. Of all the fun of float, there's nothing so insane as the racing puddle jumpers. <laughs> In the membrane? No rules, no disqualifications, and they get away with anything. Even murder. Even a shortcut across country is okay. You kids, get off my peninsula. If he had wings, he'd take off. Uh-huh, and if my aunt had anything balls, I can do. Sorry. Here's an obstacle race. And here's our Just previous contestant. <laughs> Nothing is really any obstacle. Next, they crash through a fruit stand. Here they come to the finish, and it's just what might be expected of the puddle jumpers. So predictable, these puddle jumpers. <laughs> High diving into a pool is one thing, but from a 200-foot cliff, that is something else. Extreme aquafrolic! would think nothing of doing a swan dive where angels would fear to fly. The slightest miscalculation, and he'd have his last headache. The kind of headache where your brain comes out your ears. High divers at carnivals are paid to do this, but these fellows do it just for fun. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been aquafronics. But hey. It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.